Manchester United have done all they can. That Rooney goal was enough for the three points. Manchester City are still alive here. Balotelli, Aguero! What's up guys and you are welcome to another installation of IUG TV, the first in the month of September and it has been a very very crazy crazy week and we will be starting off with one of the most interesting matches of the week in the form of Arsenal versus Liverpool. Now Arsenal and Liverpool faced off in the FA Community Shield final to determine the winner of the prestigious title called the FA Community Shield. Now, um, that match was good, very, very good. Arsenal really, really playing like Arsenal and Liverpool. Uh, they were good, nevertheless, they were good, but um, I they the way they're playing is not really showing signs of um, a team that's gonna be able to um keep that title, that Premier League title. So, so yeah, it was um. Um, present Premier League um, champions versus present FA Cup champions. So they faced all. It was a very tight match as they would draw in the first second half, enter extra time, nothing could separate the sides, and then we moved into penalties. It was going well until Ryan Brewster. Ryan Brewster, yeah, he missed a penalty shootout for Liverpool and a last kick from Pierre America Bamayang would talk in his team's 16th FA Community Shield win. Congratulations to Arsenal and uh, a big, big congratulations to Arteta. He has really, really uh, developed the side. They will. They are looking stronger than ever and um, we would really love to see what they can bring to the table in the Premier League. Moving up now, we saw the return of the Euros 2020. The Nations League is back and it is hotter than ever. It returned back to our screens on September 3rd due to, you know, coronavirus and uh, all the crazy things going on. We had, they had to postpone it and it is finally, finally back. The countries that are I've been waiting. I'm happy to see it back. It's we had a lot of matches though. We a lot of lots of matches happened in the course of the week. I can't even count of um the matches that went on the first day. It was much. I won't be touching all that in this video, but moving on, maybe towards the round of 16 or so, I'll be keeping you guys updated with what's happened then. But um, because of how plenty was and um, because of the time allocated to this video, I do not want to touch everything. But yeah, the Euros are back and uh, we would really love to see who would win. Portugal are the present champions and we'll be looking to see if they can retain that um, Euro 2020 title. Or rather the Nations League title, however you want to put it. Line, and you are welcome. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, um, and you are welcome to on um, the news table with Steven Pep, and it is still going crazy. And the transfer market clubs are still signing big, big names and uh, building their squad very, very well. We are going to be starting off in England, where Manchester United has landed their first big signing in the form of Donny Van der Brick. Donny Van der Brick, the Dutch midfielder, will be in the Manchester. The United side in the 2020-21 season. He is on national duty right now, but after that, he's gonna slap up his bags and be on his way to England to uh, play for Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is on the wheels. Uh, okay. Um, it's so like um, line the coronavirus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, the coronavirus. Um, 
it's and we were informed um earlier this week that Neymar and Di Maria had tested positive for coronavirus. Coronavirus is not a laughing matter. It's not something um we should prey upon anyone. We do hope Neymar and Di Maria, you guys do get well soon, and every other person suffering from the disease around the world. Um my sympathies and to towards you guys you guys should please recover quickly and um yeah stay safe another coronavirus case came in at the form of adama traore adama traore has tested positive for coronavirus um they actually took a first test and it came positive but because of um the test was inconclusive they had to retake it but the test still came back as positive Adama Traore gets well soon, recover quickly, um, stay safe. He was meant to be in the Spanish side for the Nations League, but due to the coronavirus and safety measures, he was not um, able to join his um, team in their matches or and in their upcoming matches. And he will not be um participating in wolverhampton wanderers first set of matches due to the, the coronavirus you guys should please get well soon and my condolences to you and england was indeed blue when chelsea released this video Do not double check, do not adjust your screens, neither should you go wash your face because what you are seeing is facts and that is Chelsea has finally, finally landed or rather completed the signing of Kai Havert. Now Havert is now an official Chelsea player. Congrats to Chelsea on um, the way they're developing their team. They are really, really looking strong now this season and we would really, really love to see what they bring to the table in the 2020-21 season. Lampard has um, some tricks off his sleeves and we would really love to see what these guys can produce in the upcoming season. In the transfer news, Mac Doherty has signed for Tottenham Hotspurs. Jose Mourinho, aka the special one, has signed Mac Doherty and is looking to develop his squad even more. Let's see what the special one can um, take his team to. If he can win another or even more trophies with Spurs as he has done in his illustrious career. So yeah, McDurity to Tottenham Hotspur. Barcelona says goodbye to Ivan Rakitic. Now over in Spain, Barcelona is just Barcelona is absolutely clapped. These guys are they are not they, we we are just I don't I don't really know what to say again. Like Barcelona, this Barcelona. The every single time is just something new or crazy happening about Barcelona. Well, yeah, Ivan Rakitic has gone back to his um former club in the form of Sevilla. He will be missing his club, um, Barcelona, and um, yeah, the Bartomeu and Coleman combination is just making things worse for the club. But yeah, he's gone. He's gone. There's nothing we can do about it. So, yeah, and um, in other news, Coutinho is back, and he is back in the Barcelona dog. I sincerely felt that he should have just stayed in Bayern. Like, he's going to just come here and just make himself irrelevant again. Um, It does take a lot of balls to come back to a team that you literally decimated in the UEFA Champions League. But, hey, 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 um... He has his reasons, so like, well, he was on loan, they didn't buy him, he was on loan, but, um, 
yeah, uh, Coutinho is back to the Barcelona squad. As far as I'm concerned right now, that is all we have. And that's all the time we have in the news today. Please don't give me a low rating. I am a very, very professional journalist. No, you're not. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not uh, wait on live television here. So, yeah, um, that is it for um the news today. You guys should enjoy yourselves. And, um, yeah, so, good goodbye. Oh, God, I'm so getting fired after this. We're still rolling. <laughs> And an extraordinary story coming out from Barcelona. First of all, we started with Messi handing Barcelona a transfer request that he wanted to leave. Then we heard that Messi was going to Man City and uh, we didn't really hear much from City. Then we heard that um, Guardiola appeared in Barcelona, things like that. And we had the discussions. Um, sorry, we had the news that said that uh, Messi and Guardiola had met, talking about the case. Then uh, some days later, George Messi, Lionel Messi's father, would come uh, to Barcelona to have a meeting with Bartomeu. And now this is just coming in. Messi has decided that he will be staying in Barcelona. He is not going anywhere. Um, all the Messi fans that were really hoping for Messi to come. He is not going anywhere. Messi is staying where he um, grew up in Barcelona. Crazy, crazy, crazy 10 days for the Barcelona side. Very dramatic. Maybe he could go in 2021, who knows, but as far as we are concerned about now and now alone, Messi will still be a Barcelona player in the upcoming season. And uh, we could just imagine that this was the reason why Messi did not want to leave Barcelona. This message came from ESPN FC and then Messi said, and I quote, when I communicated my wish to leave to my wife and children, it was a brutal dream. The whole family began crying. My children did not want to leave Barcelona, nor did they want to change schools. Mateo is still little and doesn't realize what it means to go somewhere else and make your life a few years elsewhere. Tiago, he is older. He had something on TV and found out something and asked. I didn't want him to know anything about being forced to leave, to have to live in a new school or make new friends. He cried to me and said, let's not go. I repeat, this was, a ha this was hard, really. Well, it has been a very, a very crazy, crazy, um... 10 days for the Argentinian, um, his family definitely wasn't happy finding out that he was supposed to leave Barcelona but um, we hope that the family are happy now that they know that their daddy and their um, husband will not be leaving Barcelona so we just hope um, Messi continues performing his magic and keeps on breaking records and yeah that is mainly what we got for that. And that is it for IUG TV this week. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to slap a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Enjoy yourself. Have a happy, happy new month. And Why day. would you ever want to make Brock Lesnar even more?